Good morning, Carol. It still seems pretty pleasant out there most of the time. Good morning, both. Well, for some of us, yes, it is Naga, but of course, as always, it depends where you are because we have had some heavy rain overnight across parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland. That will clear. And then for the rest of the week, it's dry for most of us. There will be scattered showers. A lot of those will be across the north and the west. But the other thing you'll notice is it's going to feel much fresher. And of course, this is something that Carol will be able to talk about because we've been talking non-stop about the desire for rain in so many parts of the country. Oh, Carol, okay, I think that map's going to tell us a lot. Morning. Yes, it is indeed, Naga. Good morning, everyone. We have had Southern England's driest July on record. And if you think about it, records go way back from the Met Office to 1835. Now, if I just run the sequence a little bit more, you'll see what I'm talking about because on average, and here's the key here, we would be looking at the whites, even the light lilac colours here, but we've got a lot of browns, meaning that most of us have had below average rainfall during the month of July. What happened was high pressure built in and it effectively blocked the Atlantic influence on our weather. So it kept all the weather fronts out towards the north and the west, and that's where we did see some rain. But even in the north and west, you can see the rainfall amounts were more or less average. Now, to give you an idea of what we've had in the summer months so far, and meteorologically speaking, the summer months are June, July and August. So, of course, we've just started August. So for June and July, so far, we've had 105.3 millimetres of the rainfall we would expect. And you can see 240 millimetres is what we would look at for the whole of the summer months. So it's unlikely that we're going to actually make average rainfall, which probably won't come as a huge surprise to anybody. And in the next few days, this is the kind of rainfall amount that we are actually expecting. So there's not much where we desperately now need the rain, as we were just hearing across parts of the south and also some central areas as well. Carol, how's it going? Well, we've got a bit of everything on Miss Charlie. Good morning, everybody. First of all, it's not as humid for most of us to start the day as it was yesterday morning. And the humidity levels continuing to drop for the next few days. So by day and by night, it will feel more comfortable. It's going to be dry for most of us, but there are some scattered showers in the forecast, a lot of which will be in the north and the west. And today it's also rather breezy. And it's the start of the rhythmic gymnastics. But that's it. I'm going to try and keep up with Olivia. You're going to see through a few sprinting techniques. We'll run off. Come on, let's show me how it's done. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> He's off, off and away. We're all being very active this morning. Absolutely. <laughs> Apart from the sofa dweller, which is me. <laughs> it's fine. It's absolutely... Someone's got to sit on the sofa, right, Carol? Even Someone has to hold the place together. Even Carol's standing. <laughs> Yes, that's true. On, on all counts, actually. Good morning, everybody. This morning, it's not as muggy a start for most of us as it has been, except for in the far southeast. But these are the temperatures that are going to greet you if you're just stepping outside. So it's not a particularly cold start to the day. And over the next few days, the humidity levels by day and by night are going to drop. And then you can see how high pressure really established itself on Sunday, keeping weather fronts to the north. Again, here at times it will be breezy. And that extends into Monday as well. And if anything, Naga and Charlie, as we head in through the weekend and into the early part of next week, temperatures are going to rise once again. Carol, what have you got? I've got a bit of everything, Charlie. First of all, I want to show you this Weather Watchers picture. Look at the grass, look how green it is. This picture was taken by one of our weather watchers in the Western Isles. I think Dalbeg is actually in Lewis, compared to the parched ground from some of the pictures I was showing you a bit earlier on further south. Of course, we've got a lot of dry weather and we've had a lot of dry weather, especially in southern areas through the course of the month of July. And it's going to feel fresher than it has done of late with our overnight lows 8 to 14. But in some sheltered glens, temperatures overnight tonight could fall away to 5 degrees. Charlie and Naga, well, notice that in the morning. We will. We will. Absolutely will. Yeah. Carol, thank you. Now, that certainly is the forecast for the next few days as well for the whole country. Dry for most, some scattered showers. It's not going to be as humid as it has been.